Hey, hey, happy, happy day. God, guns, government, children. Interesting topics. Hey, hey, well, let's talk about guns. Firstly, in the state of California, kind of everywhere, but let's uh, drill down into that state. The CRPA, California Rifle and Pistol Association, the president of that, Chuck Michelle, he wrote a book recently and about gun laws in California. Will you look at this? I mean, I got to tell you, wow. <laughs> He's an attorney. He fights for the people. But what a bunch of wordage. I mean, nonsense. If it wasn't for the Constitution, if it wasn't for the CRPA, oh, nobody would have a gun. Except the bad guys, they would. But maybe I should belong to a book club. But this is astounding. It's overwhelming. And subsequent to his writing, 2024, it's probably, you know, could be that much thicker because there's new rules coming in. And they fight. They fight all the time. And, and they get the pages reduced. And look at it still. Freedom. We have the right to defend our life. Government does not have the right to tell us that we don't have the right, but they do that. Now, still talking about books, let's talk about the Bible. The uh, Bible is the best-selling book in the world. I met a fellow just the other day, and he's an atheist, and he said, I don't believe in Jesus. And I said, hey, hey, do you believe that he existed? He said, yeah, I think so. I think he was a rabbi or a prophet. I said, he was also the best salesman that ever lived. He was quite startled. He said, salesman? You're saying, gee, I said, well, of course. He said, 12 guys, go, preach. And they didn't have good footwear. They didn't have internet. They didn't have much of anything, certainly not a cell phone. And they went out and they spread the word to the masses of the great unwashed. And look what happened. Okay, it's, you know, billions of people, billions are Christians. So kind of hard to say that, that uh, he didn't exist. I mean, well, I don't know if he did or not. And he kind of backed up on that a little bit. And I said, it's the taste test. I, I Really, I, I mean, you taste something, you write it down, and, and you know what happened. World War II, Eisenhower said, we've got to document all of this stuff because people won't believe it. And they'll always try to downplay it and even say it didn't happen. The Bible's kind of that way too, an interesting thing. But let's talk about the Trump Bible. So many people say, Trump? He wrote a Bible? <laughs> and, and he's getting a lot of pushback. There's a photo of him holding a Bible. There's Trump's book. And, you know, I read it, didn't read the Bible, the whole thing, but I read it looking for his name. His name's nowhere. It doesn't appear. I, what does appear at the very back of the Bible is the uh, Constitution, which I thought was kind of interesting, and the Bill of Rights and so on, and that's all at the back. And of course, the cover of the Bible does say, God bless the USA. So, so that's interesting. But Trump isn't mentioned. His name isn't there. However, I kind of think there's some things in there about him. The Constitution at the back, March 4th, 1789, it says this, the Seventh Amendment, in legal suits, in suits in common law, when the value is controversial, and when it should exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved. Who comes to mind? The Eighth Amendment, exercise and excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed and unusual punishment inflicted. <laughs> I guess the Democrats... They're lawless and, and uh, Bible-less, and, and they don't read either, do they? They don't read the Bible, of course, but they don't read the Constitution. Kind of clear. Wow. Uh, I tell you. And there's all kinds of other books now talking about children that, that have perverted things in it. You know, certainly we feel that way, or many of us do. And that's another book, and, and people are coming after them for writing that book. You know, i, I got to tell you, leftist minds... This is profound. I had to write it down. Leftist minds are warped, disconnected from reality, and soggy from misuse. Ah, just share it. See ya.